Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hi, with Shono here, about to give you the daily vlog for Monday, July the 5th. Before we get started with the donations, I'd like to thank Superman for the $1 donation and Mikey DHD with the 95 bits again. I'd also like to congratulate Jeremy Cunnings on welcoming a new child into his life. I believe it's his fourth child, correct me if I'm wrong. His wife went into labor last night. Baby was born a couple hours ago, so congratulations to Jeremy Cunnings. Now with that said, I have a little bit of Marvel Contest of Champions news. First off, Pastor for Life, welcome to the Alliance. I sent you a friend request and you will be participating in Map 5 Group 2. And if we can get the Flaming Cookie to play an Alliance quest, and I'll probably move him into Group 3, move Fortune Faded 420 over to Group 1 temporarily. Now, Mr. O Gamer has informed me that he's going to be going away on vacation as of Sunday, July the 11th. And that'll be like Day 4 of Alliance Quest into Day 5. I told him to just sit in the Alliance for a day, Leech Glory. I'll probably move Fortune Faded 420 into map 5 to replace him for a day and then he'll get out for a week He'll be gone for a week of Alliance Quest, and then a week later, he'll be back. If 97P Howard were to come back, he would take Mr. L Gamer's spot. And then when Mr. L Gamer comes back, I'll boot Savage Wolf from the Alliance. And if we get somebody else back before then, I'll probably start booting my alt accounts. Because like I said, I would love to get it down to one account. That way, if we have problems with the Alliance and people decide to leave out of nowhere, which I'm hoping Jack Sparrow doesn't, if anybody does, it's most likely him, we'd have people to fill in. So earlier today, I did the Langorian Castle Rift on epic difficulty. I finished the 25 battles that I was missing. I'm about 10,000 tier 2 alpha away from rank 5 in Bishop. Don't change my mind on who to upgrade. I'm going to upgrade Bishop. And I'm going to be upgrading some 4 stars as well on top of Bishop. I'm going to be working on some 4 stars, not only for arena purposes, but to make future featured arena grinds easier, or even basic arenas. Because remember, every time you run a 4 star, it's about 15,000 points every 2 hours. If you run five stars, you get about 30 to 40,000 points every seven hours. Meaning if you run the four stars three times, that's as much as running a five star. Now keep in mind, rank five, four stars are not quite rank three, five stars. They're a little bit weaker. So if you try to sandbag using a rank five, four star, a rank two, and a rank one, five star, you could get a death match, which is why I don't like running four stars for sandbagging purposes. But hopefully over the next couple of months, I'll have some more five stars at rank two. The reason I want to run some four stars is just for the simple fact that it'll make grinding the Summoner Trials arena easier because you need like 4.3 million points in order to get the very last milestone and i'd rather be running rank five and rank four four stars than running all the way down my roster this is why i'm going to probably take a couple months and start maxing out four stars and we're going to start with the four stars i don't have as a five star so i'm looking at people like proxima midnight i'm looking at people like modok i'm looking at immortal hulk immortal abomination regular abomination i'm looking at those champions i just ranked up cosmic ghost rider last night and that's something i'm going to be looking forward to doing over the next couple of days getting more four stars up to rank five just to make the summoner trials arena a little bit easier to grind when i actually give a shit about grinding because there's a lot of units to get from that arena i'm also going to be taking my six stars in the black widow clairvoyant arena putting up 7.5 million and getting black widow clairvoyant i don't give a shit about the units i want the iso i want the max signature ability crystal and the 24 bricks of iso that way i can upgrade mystic champions like pussy man easier now, as far as streaming goes for the next couple of days, tomorrow I'm going to do the Langorian Castle Rifts on Legendary Difficulty, and I'm going to run that little arena. I'm going to buy all the Cavalier Crystals that I can, which should be about seven or eight. They're still free, so I'll take it. We're going to be doing an opening on the 29th, the 30th, or the 31st of July. Whenever the second arena for America Chavez and for Hercules comes out, that way we have a chance of getting both from the Crystal. So if Hercules comes before America Chavez, Chavez. We're going to do the crystal opening then. So this will be the July crystal opening. I didn't do one in June. I did do a little mini opening where I did open some featured crystals and got a thing. I got a Mangog and a couple other champions like Civil Warrior. And congratulations on me for getting five-star Colossus from Arena. So Wednesday, I'm going to be doing Earth 2 Solomon Grundy on Injustice. And depending on participation and donations, I will also run Earth 2 Solomon Grundy on my main account. We had a lot of wrestling lingo earlier today, which I was really happy for. Case 
JC, Sharky, and Dashi were all talking about wrestlers that were overrated and underrated. So if you guys want to hear some of my thoughts, go check out the stream from today. As far as Thursday goes, it depends on who's in the arena. If it's a champion that I really want to get, I'll go for it. I'll go for the five star because putting up 12 million isn't going to be that bad. I do have Saturday off, so I could run multiple cycles then. And then Sunday, I'm also off as well. I don't have any plans on Sunday. Also, if somebody wants to go swimming on either Sunday or Friday, let me know. I also wouldn't mind going swimming tomorrow or Wednesday because I have a feeling that my legs could use some good relaxation. If not, I might just take an hour before I go to work, soak in the tub, relax the muscles a little bit. In fact, that might not be a bad idea after I get this daily vlog rendered go sit in the tub for a few minutes before I go to work that's something I might consider doing but I want to thank everybody for watching this daily vlog again congratulations to Jeremy Cunnings and Jason Ghetto please be safe you got those fires in Bangkok you got the smoke please be very careful do not worry about playing Alliance Quest your health is way more important thank you for watching this daily vlog I'll see you guys tomorrow for yet another daily vlog